Ubuntu 22.10 is the upcoming brand new update of the Ubuntu desktop that brings new UI changes, app updates, a new sound system, and performance improvements to the GNOME shop. In this video, let's take a quick look at the upcoming release of Ubuntu 22.10. Keep in mind, by the time of recording this video, Ubuntu 22.10 is in beta and the features or changes that you're about to see may be included or altered. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The all-new Ubuntu comes with the latest version of the GNOME desktop. It may look quite fresh when you compare it to the previous release and most of the desktop features that are coming from upstream GNOME are carefully crafted for Ubuntu to make it look much better. Take a look at the all new quick toggles. It's completely redesigned from scratch to be more useful, more modern and versatile. The all new toggles make it easier when interacting with common settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound and more. You can also notice that dark mode, nightlight can be toggled on or off right from here without the need of jumping into settings. Also, the all new toggles seamlessly work very well with Ubuntu's accent colors. Just take a look at this, it looks beautiful. In SAS settings, there is a new section to customize the desktop icons on dock. This new setting is separated from the appearance section and has its window. Using the Ubuntu dock, you can change the size of desktop icons and tweak the dock according to your liking. Ubuntu Dock has received the new update and solves the issue in regards to multiple windows. Let's say when you're running multiple instances of any application, the dock presents a dynamic overview of all running instances of an application. This new UI tweak improves the user experience to the next level. Nautilus is the file manager that ships with the GNOME desktop. The whole application looks fresh and modern with almost every part of the UI improved. Thanks to the perfect integration of GTK4, just like settings, the Nautilus file manager has received dynamic auto layout zipper. Now this way, when you resize or expand the file manager, it changes the behavior of the application. As you can see, this is how Nautilus looks when it runs on a mobile device. Now apart from that, right-clicking anywhere inside a file manager gives an option to open the console or terminal. The list view has also improved with more spaces added between the rows. A new highlight effect is triggered when selecting the items. Libadvata is a GTK4 library and building block for modern GNOME applications. Ever since Libadvata has integrated with GNOME, the developers have taken the GNOME experience to the next level. All the applications that ship with GNOME 43 have been updated with GTK4 or Libadvata to look much better. Take a look at the calendar which has a new sidebar with a date picker and agenda list. Also, other applications like Calculator, Weather, and Disk Usage Analyzer have followed in the footsteps of the new design language. One thing I forgot to mention, when you click on About of any GNOME application, you get a brand new dialog window. Pipewire is the new default audio system in Ubuntu 22.10. Now, compared to Pulse Audio, Pipewire brings better hardware compatibility and uses a lower CPU usage. Most of the modern Bluetooth audio works just fine without any issues. Unfortunately, Ubuntu 22.10 doesn't seem to have a new kernel 6 that is scheduled to be released in mid-October. Ubuntu uses the current stable release, kernel 5.19. This kernel brings several new features and improvements to the existing kernel components. 
It also saw some of the issues in regards to battery drain and overheating. Overall, I would say Ubuntu 2210 with GNOME 43 is a fantastic update to the Linux desktop which is scheduled for release in October. Ubuntu 2210 is going to be a short-term release and is supported for the next 9 months. If in case you have installed Ubuntu 2204 LTS on your system, I do not recommend upgrading to 2210. As of now, you can download and try Ubuntu 2210 on GNOME boxes or you can run it on bare metal on a separate drive or partition. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next one.